Monday. G'day boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Get Fit or Die Trying. Oh, how's it going boys and girls? Down here with the Throttle King, trying a bike experiment, rocket bear, rocking uh, an air shock. Don't know if you can see it. We'll do a bit of a close up later. You got about, what, 50 mil travel? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, we'll see you a bit later on. Come on, mate, up over the rocks, oh yeah. This is where he gets the throttle on, see, look. Now he's cheating. Throttle King 93. What's going on, Throttle King? I seen your little thumb there, mate. Good work. <laughs> right, eh? So, down here in Chinatown, we've got the DNM Air Shock from direct out of China. Uh, AliExpress job, was it, mate? E eBay job. Mate. eBay. Ah, oh, eBay job. Okay. Yep. So, uh, explain to us how easy it was to get. Get this one on, mate. Wasn't easy at all. What happened? Missed the lock nut tight. He was in there nice and good, mate. So these bolts here, they're not the original bolts, because um, what happened to the original bolts? The original bolts that had heads of that size, hopefully you're getting this, um, they were basically done up to like 300 Newton meters with like Loctite that was what, blue in color, but it was like, you know. Blue, but not. Not very nice. But just ridiculous. Um, and therefore, he had to drill drill out the bolt heads. Okay, one bolt success. I was dead-eyed dick with my drill. Should have been a professional driller. Didn't hit the bike. But am I imagining things? Or is that a solid bolt? It isn't a solid bolt. So I've drilled it from the wrong end. Oh, look at it. But i done a marvellous job hitting it right on the head and just popping the head off of it. No damage to the bike whatsoever so that's good I've got another one to go but at least I know now I've got to do it from the other side but Jesus Christ this is like shocking he's managed to uh, find these off of a what did you say a scooter yeah so and he's got and you got some on order as well haven't you you got some coming from a coal mile that's hit themselves and some other ones from Australia or something yeah yeah I'll have too many now so I'll have, yeah shit ton of bolts um, DNM a what does it say? A D or A O? Thirty eight. I said it's a thirty eight mil treble, is it? It's probably not the thirty eight. I think they're dreaming, but Yeah. This probably looks about, you know, the travel there. But yeah, 165 eye to eye meters. Yep. yep. So far a lot better. Considering. Alright, so you've got that on there now. Um, and you've also changed your handlebars. So how wide are these bars now? Seven hundred and eighty millimeters. Okay, and what do you have before? I think around about seven hundred. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, nice little accents there with the green grips and the uh, the green pedals. But these pedals are a little bit. Uh, how you going, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you get them from? Good old China, mate. Yeah. So you're going to upgrade to something just a little bit better. Yeah. Yep. But the contact points need something a bit better. Yep. No, all good. How much travel are on these at the moment? They say 120, but I've measured it up, and I reckon it's about 80. 80 tra real travel, honestly. Yep. Yeah. And you've ordered. What, 160? 160 with a boosted uh, axle wheel. Yep, so still sticking with the 27.5? I am, yep. Just yep. Ah, oh, cool. Why not? No worries, and the same brakes, obviously, you're just going to transfer that over. Yeah, for now. Yep. yep. See how we go, but yeah. Yep. And that's a 180 mil rotor on the front, is it? Yes, it yep. is. There, 180. Ah, oh, cool. So they're just single pot bloody. Um, what brand are they? Bengal. Bengal. Air, what's it say? Aries. Series three. So yeah, definitely, definitely need to upgrade this sort of stuff if you want to do any sort of dirt riding. That's it. I mean, if you're going to buy one of these bikes to actually use as a mountain bike, as opposed to just road riding, sort of commuting with a beefy look, yeah, you're going to you're going to run into the um, the limitations of it. So, getting the power down over the rocks now, you're finding it's it's a bit bit easier with that sort of a little bit more suppleness in the rear end. Or yeah, absolutely. I I'd, I'd say a cool mile really. You'd think that they'd be able to, not knocking them, but at least this is $109 
in Australia, got it within a week, you know, something just... They could just as, add that into the bike. Minimum, yeah. Yeah, and you could pay that extra and just get it, rather than that yeah. stupid spring, which was suited to, like, what, so someone that's 200 kilos? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Kind of just all show, no go. Very good. All right, well, um, there you go. So, just waiting for the, uh, the forks. Um, the rim and the... The rim, yeah, and, and uh, you'll just use the same tyre, I guess, for now. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Now. And upgrade the pedals, and um, yeah. Then all I've got to do is just rip that throttle off when he's not looking. Yep. yep. <laughs> all good.